In today's video, we are going to go over the Madden 21 beta, the first impressions. Now, what you're seeing on your screen is probably like a Stephen A. Smith picture because I can't put no video. Let me tell you why. Okay, no video, no gameplay. If I use a Madden 20 gameplay, it's going to get taken down because EA does not like what I do. I, I exploit the game. I show you guys the glitches and the bad things wrong with the game. And the other YouTubers, they love, they do what they can to please EA. I'm not one of those YouTubers. I'm not a game changer. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you guys like I always have. If your expectations are high for Madden 21, I'm going to I'm going to have to personally ask you guys to just go ahead and climb the ladder and bring those expectations right back down, okay? Just keep them below your expectations for Madden 20. Let's just put it that way, all right? Now I jotted down some things, but we can't go into it until you guys hit the like button. Hit the like button, share the video, subscribe if you're new, and this is gonna be important that you subscribe, right? And I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna talk about why you're gonna need to subscribe, but like it's gonna be toward the end of this video. Now, how did I get a beta code, man? I even have codes to give away. Go to my Twitter. Okay, let me show you how I got codes, okay? So I got like the, I'm making most of this stuff up, but like EA didn't have me no code, right? So the way I had to get codes was I, you know, get anonymous text on the phone. Guys like, hey, come meet me at the park by the trash can, 9.30 p.m., right? So I'm there, it's windy, right? I'm out there at the park. Guy in a trench coat shows up. He goes, man, I got them coats. And, and, and it's nighttime, so he's wearing the hat with the glasses with the trench coat, right? So I can't recognize who he is. He's like, I got them codes, I got them codes, I got them codes, how much you got? Right, so I got a few codes and I was able to play the game. So I jotted down, <laughs> I'm just joking with you guys. Uh, some, some guy helped me out and get him. EA didn't help. Anyway, so I jotted down some things that, that I saw in the Madden 21 beta that, uh, I don't know, you may think they're good, you may think they're bad, but let's talk about it. First, the presentation of the game. Uh, it's colorful, it's vibrant. It's uh, more brighter than Madden 20 that makes any sense the coloring is really nice in madden 21 it, it like makes your eyes hurt especially if you have migraines it's gonna make your eyes hurt you're gonna like have to squint and look at the game because it just looks that bright it, it looks good as far as the color goes okay commentators for the game are still the same they're still saying the same lines from previous madden's the same guys I don't get it. It's weird. Okay, they need to change that aspect. If if you want to make a Madden more immersive, we're tired of hearing the same lines from Madden 18, man. I'm being honest with you guys. I'm tired of listening to the same thing. Now you can turn it off. See, I'm gonna turn it off. I'm already tired of it. We just turn it off, especially when you're playing competitive and stuff like that. You don't want to hear these guys yapping. But I'm just saying, if you want to hear, like it just, it's all about the immersion, and that right there is a big problem with immersion. Uh, what's cool about it is the celebrations after every play. You get like these these four boxes that you can flick your stick after like a pass or a interception or a touchdown, right? You get to do these little celebrations. So that was pretty cool. I like that they added that. I figured that maybe they're going to find a way to monetize that part of the game, uh, but I don't know. Uh, the game doesn't look next gen, but we are still on this gen. So maybe on next gen consoles, they'll upgrade something, which would bring more life to the game. But as of right now on these consoles, it looks exactly like Madden 19. I mean, Madden 20, Madden 19 too, but with more <laughs> colors. All right. I, I messed up, but then I thought about it really quick. Yeah. Madden 19, Madden 20, Madden 21. They all could be grouped like in the same three games. I'm telling you guys, they could have just updated Madden 19, called it seasons. And we'd be in our what? Second, third season. And then like we'd get a Madden 22, you know, like you, you have one company work on Madden 19 and the seasons, right? And behind that, you have someone creating a whole new game for a new game launch. So it'd be like, you know what I mean? I, I, it was just an idea by me. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So same as Madden 20, Madden 19. Now playbooks, uh, Saints is completely the same. So plays that were in the Saints playbook are completely the same. So I'd imagine that other teams are going to be the same as well. I haven't used every type of play yet. So that right there, I'm still in the, the beginner stage of trying to use all the packages and different plays from different playbooks. You're only allowed to use like four different teams on the beta right now. So we have to wait and see how much they actually change. But I don't think the Saints is going to change. And that's a great thing because I can just come out the gate, you know, and just start throwing passes. You know what I mean? Because I know that playbook. All right, so that's enough for playbooks. You can still use NFL Live playbooks, but eh, um, customs are better. 
Gameplay. Let's talk about the gameplay, man. All right. Zones are worse this year than in Madden 20. Let me tell you what I mean. Level sale against cover two and cover three are guaranteed TDs in the end zone. Does that make sense to you guys? Level sell. Cover two, cover three. You haven't been able to use level sell great in the red zone, but in Madden 21, it's great in the red zone. Okay? So that is a, I don't know. I guess it's a, is it a Debbie Downer? Uh, let's see. Gavin, yeah, zones dumb out bad in the end. Oh, yeah. Zones dumb out really bad in the end zone. You're going to see when you play it, unless they make some sort of adjustment. I don't know. Number two, linebackers are slow. Users have been nerfed. So if, and here's what I mean. The workaround is like in big nickel. So if someone's coming out in a passing formation, okay, you're going to sub out your linebacker for free safeties because if you don't do it, man, I'm telling you guys, uh, the users feel like Hitchens. Someone said that on Twitter. The user feels like you're using Hitchens all the time, no matter who you're on. Very, very slow. Uh, in heavy sets, if you're like in a 3-4, and you have to use her a linebacker, you're gonna be in trouble, man. I'm telling you guys right now, it's gonna be hard for you to use them. The workaround and like a big nickel is to sub out linebackers, use her the safeties and stuff like that. But if they're in a heavy set, you're gonna be, it's gonna be hard for you, man. I, I don't know how to how they're gonna attack that. I think they nerfed users on purpose just because of the pass rush for you to start using the D line. It, it's a very weird situation but it's also more realistic because linebackers technically can't run from route to route in one play you know what i'm saying but this also means that halfback screens from heavy sets are going to be really good if they keep it the way it is and linebackers are slow you're going to be able to throw screen passes again because the linebackers cannot reach the running back in time to stop it they're going to have to like use the cloud or something and even at that that guy is going to get blocked so Screens are going to make their comeback in Madden 21. Um, number three, QBs get tired really fast after a rollout. So if you attempt a rollout with the quarterback, okay, your quarterback's tired the next two plays. He's going to be red. I'm talking about he's going to be red. He's not going to be yellow. He's going to be light blue. He's going to be red. So I don't know if they're going to change that. I think they need to keep it that way just to keep every, everybody like, you know, can't be running doing the same thing over. I, I'm cool with that as long as the, the release from the quarterback is a little bit faster. And in Madden 21, the release is a little bit faster than it is in Madden 20. So that's a plus, right? Um, another thing is one play TDs are hard to complete. Uh, there are a lot of incompletions trying to throw deep. So if you're trying to throw deep, the chances of you making that completion are like 30, 40%. It is very hard to do it, man. You know what I'm saying? Because like the plays that I use, like I have open wide receivers and they'll still overthrow. And if he's tired after a rollout and you still try to throw that same pass, it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. I, I, I don't know. Uh, QB releases, like I said, are a bit faster. I wrote that down. But number five, possession catches on the sideline are aggravating. So... Depending on your wide receiver and whatever animation they give you, most of the time it's going to be an incompletion on the sideline if you possess and catch. So, and there, but there are going to be times that you're going to catch it, obviously. But there's animations that kind of make me upset. It's not like the one where they remember where they used to jump out of bounds, where they do that little flop out of bounds back in the older Maddens, or even in this Madden. I think they took it out like mid-season. I can't remember if it was this one or last year. Uh, but there's different possession catch animations that are just. You know what I'm saying? Uh, another thing is when you're throwing a streak, like say I run tight offset tight end, I run halfback swing. I streak the X route, right? And then I try to glitch the cover three with the corner route. When you pass the ball, there's going to be times where you can't control the streak. You can't use or control the wide receiver. He is locked into an animation. Like it's, it's a predetermined situation. That needs to be fixed. If I throw a streak up the middle of the field, not on the outside, but in the middle of the field is where I experienced it, is if I throw that over the middle, I should be able to click on that receiver and then move him around. And there are times where, and most of the time, where you can't do it. He's just locked into a straight animation going straight. Nothing you can do. You can't possession catch. You can't uh, do any type of a rat catch. You can't do none of that, okay? Because it's just like a, an animation you gotta wait for. And it's usually an interception. 
So I don't know if that's a problem or they meant that, but they need to fix that part right there. Uh, stretch from eye close is still good, but I need more testing to see what the run can do in this game. It was good though. Jet touch pass from the empty trio was really good as well with Tyreek Hill. And that's another thing. The Tyreek Hill is still going to be OP in Madden 21. If not, Madden, Madden 20 Tyreek Hill, 99 speed. Madden 21 Tyreek Hill, 109 speed. And I go, let's go ahead and just compare that with the game. The game speed is faster than Madden 20. They're probably going to tone it down, I would imagine. I don't know because people that are new to Madden, stuff happens fast. Blitzes happen fast. The whole movement of the game just happens fast. You still don't come out of the huddle. Like, like you, there's still no huddle. You're, you break right into the play like Madden uh, 20. So that's another thing that's in the game is you just come straight to the line. And then you can motion receivers just like Madden 20. Uh, there's some things you can't do with certain plays. I know that. I'm trying to think off the top of my head other things when I come to the line, what I'm looking for. Also, you know how you control your D-line with LB or L1? Well, now it's, you do it all with RB or R1. So it's like you select them, you do everything with RB and R1. So that's not LB because I was trying to like, okay, something's not right here, but it's they changed the defensive line adjustments to just like the same button. Unless it's been the same button, I'm just wrong, but I think it's I think it's changed. Uh, blitzes right now are harder to execute, but that's because the meta has not been found. You need time to discover. You need hours to find the real meta for the game. There's going to be one, I would imagine. Contains work better this year than they did in Madden 20. Or, I mean, in Madden 21, they work a little bit better. Your offensive line blocking is still weird. Like, some dudes will just stand there and won't block something. But for the most part, a lot of the pass rush uh, is getting picked up. But that's because people aren't using the meta against me. So well, you have to sit and wait for that right there. That's going to take a little bit of time to really see how blitzes work in Madden 21. Even myself, I'm going to need time to uh, work it because the big dot 146, those are going to be gone. Like they nerfed that stuff, right? Vertical routes from like bunch. You know how you guys used to throw the vertical route to the outside. You motion that outside receiver from gun bunch verticals. And then if they're like play like a purple, you can hit that B route really quick. Well, the Madden 20, remember they nerfed it. That was usually a pick. It would be like a weird throw and you couldn't execute it. Well, in this game, you can. It's right. They took that away. You can start throwing that B route again. So that was a plus as well. Um, like I said, blitzes are harder to execute. Uh, if you want to run the same play, this was pretty cool. I don't know, man. This could be good for people, bad for people. But I have so many plays in my playbook that I use. Uh, this doesn't really bother me. But if you run the same play over and over, your opponent gets to see your play art after a certain time. I don't know what they call it. Something about game. What is it? Game footage or playbook. Foot I don't remember, man. They, they have a word for it. But you can start to see your opponent's plays, which is pretty cool. So if someone keeps running the same thing on you, you're going to start to see their play art. And I think it works on defense, too. I'm not sure. I need to well, play a little bit more and figure it out. See if it actually works on defense as well. Uh, I'll get back to you guys on that. Corner routes get covered from cover three, but a deep post with a corner route uh, with a combo. Like if you have the corner route with a deep post, it glitches out cover three. That's a new glitch that I'll be using in my money plays. Uh, but the most important, man, most important this is why you need to subscribe. All the glitches that I have shown in Madden 20 work in Madden 21 everything homies and i'm talking about if it worked in madden 20 it works better in madden 20 with the exception of the streaks that you can't control because i have one play tds that are streaks but i click onto my receiver i pass lead and you know i'm able to move my receiver but with the way they have it now is some of those plays really aren't going to work the same but just some but everything else that i've shown you guys works better because i guess zones are worse uh but what i'm gonna do in my next video is i'm gonna make a video about what they can do to improve the madden 21 experience for people things that are wrong really wrong with the game and what they can do to make them better uh if i had to rate the game when i played the madden 20 beta i came out feeling hey man it's all right it's it's okay right i came out playing the madden 21 beta like no this is worse this is the worst game. I rated a five 
out of 10. So a five out of 10 on my scale is what I rate Madden 21 as of right now. I know they can fix and tune some things and they probably need to. So, you know, if EA wants to watch this video and take some pointers, man, take it from the money play master, bro. Okay. I'm just telling you guys right now, take it from me, man. You, you need to get me in there. I need to show you some, I need to show you some glitchy stuff, homies. Love you guys, man. Peace.